Okay, now notice we're going from exponential form to logarithmic form. So it's asking us this equation, we're going to put it in logarithmic form. So I'm reminding you what logarithmic form looks like. Log of b x equals y. So we're going to take this equation, which is in b to the y equals x. I want to define b, y, and x just because I think we should. And we're going to put it in this order. So b is 4, four x is 64, y is so now we're going to take this information and we're going to write it in logarithmic form. So we're going to write the we're going to write log. And then what is our b? So 4 is a subscript, so it's going to go like that down at the bottom. Then what is our x? 64. <coughs> and that should equal our y, which is 3. And this is our answer. So today, when you go to do your homework, it is very important that you pay attention to what the instructions say. It doesn't want you to solve it. It's just asking you to rewrite it in another form. Okay. So example four is 120, is 125 to the one-third power equals five. We want to write it in logarithmic form, which is log b x equals y. Okay? So you you again you guys, how do you know this? Because it's it's asking you, this is exponential form. You know it's exponential form because it doesn't have the word log in it. And we want to write it in logarithmic form. So remember, this is b, this is y, this is x. Just to make sure that we understand that again. b is 125, x is 5, y is 1 -third. We're going to take this information and we're going to put it right in here. So log. What number is our b? So 125 is going to be the subscript. It's going to be down there at the bottom with the g. Our x is going to be here. And it's going to equal 1 -third. That's our answer. What questions do you have right now? You can't, um, this one you can't check. You just have to make sure that you remember where your B, Y, and X is. Later on we'll be able to check it, but right now we can't. Any other questions for this one? 